Hello folks, so today we're playing the full release of Roguelike Card Game Inscription, where we're trapped in a cabin playing against a madman. Uh, you may have seen the demo version already, that lets you play up to the first boss. Uh, we're jumping straight into a new run, having unlocked a bunch of stuff already. I've also solved a couple of the escape room puzzles in this room to add extra cards to the game. Actually, what is this? this is, I, f I got this during the run and, and I was, it was confiscated from me. Uh-oh. What have I done? The pain is unbearable, even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Oh no. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> well, fine. I'm glad I got that at some point then. Alright, let's actually start the game. Um, so we'll either get a new card or we'll get a blo- Oh, let's actually go to here. This is always fun. Right, so we're not going to get to combat just yet. Let's see what we've got. So I'm going to choose you. Uh, the Middlesome Bat, a Minor Terror. This will cost four bones, two attack, and has one health. Fair enough. Okay, that's a new card for my deck. Fair enough. Um, and we'll go over to here, which I think is going to be... Ooh, is it augmenting a card? Oh no, it's, a, it's taking one aspect of one card and adding it to another. Okay, the choice is yours. Okay, well, we've just got the bat, so I don't really want to do that. What could sacrifice him? Ooh. But let's get rid of the bullfrog, he's not that exciting. Oh, hang on. Put that there. And now choose what we're going to... Um, what card... Okay, let's see. Let's, the weasel seems to be... Oh, is it a stoat? Well, let's see. The weasel will get the um, stuff that we're getting. I think it's the sigil. Yes. Okay, so we've, been, we've given him an extra power, uh, which will come into play when we actually see... Oh, oh, God. Okay, so this is a mistake. I chose the elite route. So we're now going to have a bit of an elite combat. It's a normal combat, but we've got an extra horrible... Um, thing going on there. All right, whatever. Oh, here's our first combat. And let's see. He's going to do a prong on. And unfortunately, um, a card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. All right, so I can't fly over the top of him. Okay, that's fine. That's quite straightforward. Unfortunately, we've got a bat. And that'll cost us four bones. Um, you get bones from killing cre uh, from your creatures being killed. All right. So first of all, we need to play a squirrel, and then let's see. I'll sacrifice the squirrel, because this costs one sacrifice. There we go. Back on the board. We've got ourselves one bone token, so we can't play the bat just yet. Uh, we can't sacrifice anything to get the... Oh, we could actually. Let's, get, let's open the squirrel. Let's place you there. And um, We still can't get the wolf, though. Um, so I think I actually might end my turn there. The wolf... The stoat will attack for one. Uh, so, oh! The pronghorn does a diagonal attack. Okay. Fair enough. I haven't seen a pronghorn before. All right. Oh, not this early in the game, anyway. Right, I'm going to draw a squirrel. Um, okay, he's, he's, my lad is not feeling very well, but never mind. Never mind about that. And the point of all this combat is you've got to tip the scales by attacking the far side of the board um, enough times. Um, they'll be doing the same to you. Um, to attack the other side, you need to make sure that there's just nothing, not, not their cards in the way. Uh, all right, so what have we got? This is the um, the prong on, and he's going to attack diagonally, so we probably should take him out at some point. Let's, um, what we'll do... Place a squirrel there, and then since the wolf requires two sacrifices to play, we'll kill that squirrel, that squirrel, and play the card there. That'll be a attack, attacking for three, and should finish off the prong on. Can't do anything with the bat yet. Let's move on to the next turn. Stoke attacks for one, wolf kills him, and there's two teeth on the scales in my favour. Right, we've only got a bat. Um, not really much we can do at the moment, so what I'm going to do is take a risk on that. Oh, okay. That requires two bones to play, so I'm actually going to play that. And finish the turn. Bang, 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 bang. He's got nothing to play against me. And I've tipped the scales and won. Excess damage goes into a pot for later. And we've defeated um, an elite combat in the f f very first encounter in the game. Well done, us. I hope you're following all this. I've <laughs> been playing this all afternoon. Uh, wolf, black goat, or beaver, to add to my thing. All right, so the beaver will add a, a dam on either side of him when I play him. Um, essentially, there'll be just cards that have... There'll be defensive cards that have two health. Uh, the wolf is a vanilla wolf. Uh, the black goat is interesting, because if we sacrifice him, he gives us a lot of blood in return, which is handy I mean, if you've got, like, um, a difficult thing to play. But we haven't really got anything difficult. We haven't got anything that requires a large amount of sacrifice, so I'm going to go for beaver instead, I think. That might be tactically useful. Over here we go. And this is another one of these, so let's see. What do we want to... Oh, God, it's, it might have to be you. Sorry, lad. And we're going to take your sigil and put it on... Um, what is it? This is the stink. Um, you know what? I think I'll give it to the wolf. It's going to hurt, but not too hard. That's fine, though. Right, a new encounter, a new combat. What have we got this time? 
Squirrel, wolf, beaver, and bat against a wolf cub. Um, on the second turn, that'll turn into a, a proper wolf. So we don't want that happening. But it's going to happen. So there. Right. Unfortunately, we've not got very much good stuff here. Now, we have got... We've got a hook here. And if we want to steal one of their cards, we can. But only one. And we've also got a sacrificial dagger, which will temporarily tip the scales in our favour. But we can only use that once. And that takes our eye out, which is very fun. So, I'm going to place you... With, hmm... I think we're going to have to get attacked by that wolf cub, because there's not really much we can do at the moment. I'm just going to have to leave that squirrel there. The squirrel can't attack for anything. The wolf will attack for one. I've got, we're up against an alpha, which is less than ideal. Another squirrel. Let's get a... probably a beaver on the board, actually. So let's put the squirrel down. And then we need to sacrifice you and you. Place the beaver there. That should get the dam there. A formidable defence! <laughs> I got him to talk. There's a spider on the board. Or some sort of ant, but ignore that. So, there's nothing much you can do now, unless we sacrifice... I don't think we can sacrifice dams. You can't draw blood from a dam, you'll need something else. Oh, the stump, in fact. So that's fine. And uh, The beaver should attack for only one, but he's more about defence than anything. The alpha... Well, he'll probably attack the dam. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Get out of the way. There we go. Attack for you. So that'll attack the other side. Um, it, the, the cards are only actually in play when they're in um, the, the first two rows. Right, okay, so what have we got? We've got three bones. We've got a wolf and a bat. We could do with playing that wolf. Um, unfortunately, probably not this turn. So I'm actually going to take a squirrel this turn. Oh, the wolf has got... Oh dear, look. The wolf is gaining power from the alpha. He's got four attack instead of three. I better put that squirrel there as a sacrifice. Um, just a sacrifice for them to kill rather than me to actually do anything with. Um, we're not in a good place here, so I'm just going to have to move on. Kill you. Oh, he's... Oh, uh, ugh. Ugh. Well, we can now play our, our bat. Oh, yeah, we've got to we've got to draw a card first. Um, squirrel, place the bat there. Take takes a while our bones up. So the um, so the dam is going to still take soak up some stuff. The bat should kill the the regular wolf. And what else can we do? I don't think we can do. There's nothing worth us doing now. So let's move on. Tonk got the alpha, and that's. Weakened everyone else as well, but that's fine. Right, so let's see what are the what's the score at the moment. We are actually doing reasonably well. It's sometimes hard to get to the exact right spot to see what's what. Let's not worry about that. I can't, I can't quite see how many how well we're doing, but never mind about that. So we're we'll probably gonna put the squirrel there. Yeah, we'll put the squirrel there. Once we've actually got a squirrel there, place that. You oh, uh, he's. He can see that I can, I'll can, probably win on this turn, so he's actually just like immediately surrendering. Okay, that sometimes happens, weirdly, if you're, if you're doing very well. But I'm going to accept his um, surrender, and we'll move on. Um, so now we've got a choice of... This is going to be cards, and I'm not quite sure what that one is. Um, the, the campfire will upgrade one of our cards, and that's an equipment bag over there. So I think we'll go over to the equipment bag, maybe. Although, having said that, we've only got room for one more equipment. You can only carry three things... Oh! Oh, this is the pelt trader. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Uh, we didn't go to a pelt trapper thing earlier, so instead, I've been given some cash. I didn't know that could happen. Okay. Uh, fair enough. So, you know what? I'm not going to go for the equipment. I'm going to go for this one again. I think... Yeah, this is this again. Um. Oh, God. I think we're only out of good cards. Um. Flight or the beaver dam. Okay, well... Let's apply it to that. So the bat is now going to have the, a weird sort of beaver effect. Which is going to be a bit crazy, but never mind. And we'll get on to the next encounter. This is when it's going weird. <laughs> I fear it. I'm, oh, two sparrows. Okay, they can fly over me and attack me directly. This is going to be such a weird one. Um, Yeah, okay, we need four bones for that to even begin. But let's start with a squirrel. It's going to be probably like a stoat on this turn. Which has got the... Um, we can... Oh, we can... Oh, that's good. Um, e will attack... Um, the well, E will defend against the sparrows. So let's place that... No, not the bat. The stoat. There we go. Place you there. What's he saying? Keep me alive. No. Frankly. Um, wait, hmm. Is there any, any cards we can pinch? Probably not. Uh, let's move on to the next turn. So he's going to attack one and try to attack us again, but couldn't. 
Um, but unfortunately, the, um, our lad did get a little bit of injury. We've got no more cards. We haven't got a very full deck so far. And we'll have to use that hook soon. So, let's see. We have a squirrel. Um, we've only got one squirrel. And that's a, that's going to be a bat that attacks for two. That's, ooh. And unfortunately, we've got a boulder in the way, which is just horrible. So, let's see. I think we still have only got four bone. It was one bone, I and mean, this needs four. Hmm. Not much we can really do to actually get much going here. I think I can't defend against the sparrow over there. And I don't really want to sacrifice my stoat to get the wolf. And I can't play the bat. Hmm. This is less than ideal. We get a little bit punchiness here. Ooh. It's not going in our favour at the moment. All we can do is at the moment is um, draw a go, go, go. There, draw a squirrel. Um, okay. This is not good. This is bad. The wolf might help us. A little bit. Place the wolf there. We've only got three bones. You know what? I'm going to stick this in my eye. Ignore this. <laughs> That's balanced the scales a little bit, thankfully. Yes, I just put my eye on the scales. Less than ideal. Um, and yeah, that's all I can really do this turn. Less good than I want. Ting the bell. Right, got you, got you. Oh, the stoat's gone. Ugh. Right, at least now we can play the bat. And once... I always forget this. Once we've actually drawn that. Place the squirrel there. And the bat can go there. Right, so the the wolf will attack for three, um, and hopefully we shouldn't take too much damage from the others. Ooh, almost won. And they've got, they got three back, bloody hell. But next turn, one, two, three, so long as we actually attack for something here, we may be okay. Uh, that bat dam thing didn't really help, did it? Yes, there we go. Just about managed it. Would you care for a new eye? Uh, that one. Achievement unlocked. Ancestral vision. Find salvation in Cuckoo Clock. Oh. How interesting. Never had this before. I, uh, last time I did this, I just chose a, a different. I, I chose a different die, and now it happened. Find salvation in the Cuckoo Clock. There is a Cuckoo Clock in the room. Unfortunately. Oh. Having said that, this is new. They didn't used to have this little guide on it. Uh. Ooh. Stunted wolf. Take the film roll before he sees it. Now. What are you doing over there? T Achievement unlocked. Reborn hope. Ooh. How interesting. There's all the other stuff and all. You're wondering about that painting. I've seen stuff come out of it. Rrr, but only if the cards are aligned just right. Huh. Oh god, this is more, way more um, involved than I realised, all this stuff. Ooh. This is the sort of stuff that you can only do once you've had a few runs as well, because that that lad um, was that, that guy here, which I got from a previous run. Keep sealed. Could it be you have the master's eye? Does this mean the master can see me? Magnificus, can you see me? Can you free me? Ah, it is done. The master is free. Oh, the end must be close now. If Magnificent is free, it must be close. Ooh. I feel like I should keep that sealed. That's, there was, I've, I've, I've got all the cards out of this puzzle. All oh, these mushrooms all over the place. These are starting to appear. Also, let's get that. Some cash out of there. Some bonus. Anything else we can do? I don't know, let's, well, let's continue with the goddamn game. I don't think we can do anything here, can we? More mushies? That's just the reference book. Alright, well, I don't know what that is, but that looks like cards. Okay, let's get cards. The, oh, the flighty elk, this is the first time I've seen this. It moves after attacking. Um, I'm going to go for the coyote four bones. Although I haven't really got much ways of generating bones, because there are often extra ways of doing that. Alright. Right, so here's some free items. Um, bones. Excellent. 
Um, and a free card. Uh, Black Goat is useful for sacrifices, but let's go for a, a bonus squirrel, because that's always helpful. Right, first boss, the Prospector. Uh, unfortunately, you only allowed one life for this. You, you start with two, and if you if you lose an encounter, you lose you lose one life out of two. But you can continue. You pass the massive empty bowl surrounded by heaps of unidentified giblets in that. It seemed the bowl was destined for a dog, but what earthly hound would require a meal of that size? Well, here comes... Where's the hound of mine? Here comes a prospector. A two-stage boss fight. Oh, hello. How has it been? It has... Oh, they're, they're having a chat. It has been quite bad. I am trapped in the, the body of a stoat. In the paper of a card. It's looking less stoat-like and more video-like now. I have set up a way to reset once more. What the hell's going on with this? Our player friend here, they already hold the key. What the fuck? What was all that about? <laughs> I was trying to play this as a, as a normal game at the moment, but, but things are going rogue. Alright. Well, fine. Let's have a look at the board. Okay, Coyote and Pack Mule. If you destroy the Pack Mule, we'll get lots of cards out of it. That's one of the things that you, d you learn early on. Um, I'm going to Raid the piggy bank to get some bones out, which means I can play the coyote immediately. Place that there, I think. It's a coyote versus coyote right here. Oh, not now. There's nothing that can be hooked. Okay, well, I'll have to wait until that coyote's on the board. Oh, the pack mule. What happens if I stole that? Anyway, um, let's play uh, this there, which will give us bones when it gets destroyed. And the squirrel there, and the stunted wolf there, I think. That sets us up nicely. The trouble with the prospectus is you'd, when you actually kill him for the first um, time, you don't want to have lots of um, uh, your creatures on the, uh, um, ready to go because it'll destroy them all. But for now, let's do this. Tonk Tonk. Already almost destroyed him his first round. Actually, we got the bones out of that. That's good. We'll get ourselves a squirrel. And so we don't want to play too many because of what I said. Um, the pack mule will be got. Um, we're still doing quite well here, but the coyote is about to get us. So what I'll do is I'll play the squirrel there, but I won't do anything else. Uh, the wolf cub's about to turn up, but the coyote... Oh, that should be okay. This this round should actually just win um, and go on to the next stage. So as I said, I really don't want to play anything else. Unfortunately, we will lose the stunted wolf already. We'll also lose the boulder. So let's just get on with it. Tonk and tonk across the board because the wolf cub hadn't been into the arena yet. There's gold! Okay, here we go. So now, for the second stage, he's destroying all our cards on the first row, which is a prick, but at least we get rid of that boulder. So they're all defense um, cards temporarily. They've all got a little bit of health. And we've got shitloads of bones. Um, We really want to destroy the pack mule, to be honest, but... We'll see how that goes. So the coyote will destroy that gold nugget. The bloodhound on the next go will destroy... Oh, in fact, yeah, on the next go of the obsidian will destroy that. And the pack mule will just sit there. Um, that, getting ready to be destroyed by whatever we play, on the, hopefully, on the left. We've got loads of bones. Um, not really much we can do now, so anyway, I'm just going to move on. Get them! Right. Now, I'm actually going to go... Because we've got a, bone, a, a free squirrel there, so I'm actually going to grab you. Oh, oh good, good. We've got a wolf. Um... So what I could do? The Bloodhound is going to be a prick because it's quite tough. The Wolf, however... Oh, it's a Stinky Wolf as well. Um, it's got an extra sigil. That's the one we um, upgraded earlier. Uh, that will mean that uh, whatever attacker is facing him will lose an attack um, strength. And so what I'll do... kind of want to not get hurt here. The scales are balanced. But let's place the Squirrel there. I could stoat up instead. We've only got attack of one, though, but health of three. I might raid that and place that there, just as a sort of like a defense against the Bloodhound. And now I could either play the Stow to the Weevil. The Weevil, the Weasel. Or the st whatever. The Wolf. Stow to Wolf. I'm actually going to play the Stoat. Um, there, because they'll be able to get rid of the Coyote then. Back on the board. All right. Um, I think we can press the bell. Tonk you. We're now doing on the board. Oh, the Pack Mule's gone. Oh, that's good. We might be able to attack it properly. Okay. Now another squirrel, which we'll place there. And I think I shall leave it for now. Let's see. Thank you. Ah, no, that's more in play now. Oh, the pack mule's gone over to the left now, uh, where the gold nugget is. And that's a bit out of the out of where we want it to be. Uh, let's, let's see. Place you there. And the wolf, what I might do here 
is sacrifice the stoat and put the wolf... Oh, it needs two sacrifices. Ooh. Mm, maybe not, then. I might have to take the attack from the adder. At least we get one attack in, in return. We just don't have any cards that have bones. Oh, we do! We've got the bat. There's little batty poos. So we'll play the batty poos there. And the da it gets damned there. If all else fails, we can hook. We find let's, let's hook the bloodhound. There aren't any pulls that you can make. Oh, we, we may need to actually clear the clear the decks first. Um, mm, fine. Right, tonk you, tonk you. Get tonked in return. But this time we may want to get. See how much we. The wolf can attack for three, and we've got. We may actually win in three. So what we'll do? Play the squirrel there. Sacrifice those two, place the wolf there. Oh, you bloodhound prick! You moved! Of course, that's, that's what he does. God damn it. Okay, well, we'll destroy the bloodhound then, thankfully. Um, because the, the wolf is stinky, the wolf cub's attack was zero. Helpful. Place you there. Anything else we can do? No. Kill you. Squirrel gets nout. Oh, the pack mule's back in play. Place you there. And next turn. I uh, will kill the pack mule, and we've got bi uh, billions of cards as a result. Holy shit. My mule and a pack! Never mind about you. So, yes, we've won this. Um, and we can play the bat. We may as well overkill, because then we'll get some free teeth. Elk fun. Oh, that's, that's not going to happen this turn. Um, actually, there's really nothing much we can do, although well, we could... We could sacrifice a squirrel for the elk fawn. But that's not going to say... Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? And then that's, that's basically all we can do. So let's ting the bell. Attack, attack, attack. And we really attack and give... Yeah, so the excess damage um, will go into our teeth supplies. Which we can use to buy pelts from the trader. You will not perish quite yet. Okay, so we've got both our lives now. Perhaps one of these will entice you. This is hopefully a rare card situation. Oh, child thirteen. Oh, that's an interesting one because you keep on you can keep on sacrificing that one for blood, um, and it'll never die. But otherwise, it's a bit piss. This is just an incredibly strong card. It just costs a lot of um, sacrifice. So if you've got a goat, that's handy. So I'm actually going to take that one. And we've completed the first one. Wiping the dust from your trousers, you return to your journey. Right. So now we're going to be entering the wetlands. We will need another map. Here we go. And tepid water floods your boots. Flies swarm around you. You will enter the wetlands. Right, I can't remember what that is. I think it's a cave trial thing. So let's go over here instead. Oh, the kingfisher. Oh, the skunk. Oh, that's another stinky one. Um, so it's it's not going to attack, but it will make it'll nullify the attack of the. So it's a bit defensive. It'll nullify the opposite opposite cards attack. Um, kingfisher is a peculiar one. It kind of disappears and then reappears and stuff. None of these are really very good. I'm going to go for the skunk as a defence. Let's upgrade something. The other one, the other path um, is a get rid of a card. Um, but you do get something in return. I forget what. Right, so in this case we're on the campfire and we're going to um, upgrade by adding one attack to something. Uh, I could do that with the skunk and that would actually make it a bit more useful. Stop this, he says. If you must. Hmm. I could make that wolf more useful. Stinky and thing. But I'd like to give this to her like a... Um, something that costs not too much. I'll go for the skunk. Make it a bit more useful. I think we'll do that. Right. With your skunk in tow, you retreated to the woods. Bracket west. Brackets wetlands. Okay, m a new fight. We've still got the hook. We've got no equipment, which is less than good. Right. Squirrel, thingy, wolf, and skunk. What is that? Yuri Yuli. You bastard. Whatever it is. Anyway, we've got worker ant and a... Oh, ringworm. Ooh. Hello, hand. So, worker ants get stronger the more ants there are in the field. So, you want to kill them quickly, I guess. Got two health. The ringworm is just a bit nothing. It doesn't seem to do anything, that one. I've never seen a ringworm before, but... Um, let's see. We can get this skunk on the go. Um, let's play the skunk in front of you. Yeah, so that'll attack the worker ant over the course of two turns. Nothing else we can do. We've got no equipment, which is a shame. 
Okay, that doesn't actually attack the worker ant because that's next turn, of course. Um, we'll definitely need a squirrel. So we've got the Eureli out, which does mean that we, if we fill the board up with squirrels and stuff, we will eventually be able to get that and have an absolutely unstoppable killing machine. Oh god, there more. Oh, there's bees and ants and mantises. This is very insecty, isn't it? Ooh. Um, a squirrel. Let's, the the bee is going to attack over the top of our heads. I'm going to put ace that one there. Um, otherwise, there's not really much I can do. Oh, the, oh god. Ooh, already this is not good. Right. Hopefully, though, this, now we can play the squirrel and replace the squirrel with a wolf. Oh god, the workaround is getting strong. Um, here's what we'll do. Sacrifice those, but place the wolf there instead. And that's all we can do there. You're lacking... Yeah, shut up. I'm, I'm trying to press the bell. Okay, gets rid of you, and excess damage goes backwards as well, which is handy. Right, so we've got a wolf and we've got a skunk. Let's place that there. Still haven't got enough to do that, but I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. I don't really want to hook the ringworm. I think we're going to lose this one, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, we're getting very close to death. I might try that one, just in case we get a bone. Oh, we did get a bone thing. Excellent. Right. I really could do with sacrificing that. You know what I'll do? I haven't got four bones. Oh, piss. Oh, I was going to replace the squirrel with the... the, the it's the, the trouble is the squirrel has blocked that up, and the bee... I can't attack the bee, which has absolutely caused absolute carnage. Ooh. Uh, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm think I'm, I think I've buggered this up. Nothing I can do, is there? And you haven't got. Ooh. Ooh. On the upside, our wolf is and skunk are going to attack, making it so that we're not going to die in the next turn, at least. But yeah, then we goes back again. They haven't got really many cards left, so that's a good sign. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, he has run out of cards, so he's actually, that's why he's actually offering a, his surrender. Okay. Now, we can go to a trapper and spend our teeth, or we can go down there. This way will take us to an elite, but I think we should try this route. Right, so he's the pelt trader. Um, so it gives me a free rabbit pelt, but then I can also... I've got quite a lot of teeth. I might be able to get the golden pelt. Yes, there we go. Excellent stuff. So that's those go into my hand. They're a bit piss, and we can we can use them, but we want to keep them and then sell them later on for new cards and stuff. Ideally, if we can get to a um, the other side of that, which we did earlier. We, unfortunately, we've gone to the in the wrong order. Um, we need to find the other trapper guy, whoever it is. Anyway, now we're going to get a strange woman. I think the decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. Right, okay, so in this case, we're going to get sigils. Or a weird, it's, it's, it, ooh, it's best best to show rather than tell there for this one. Airborne, or I think, um, I can't remember what that is. Um, let's pick you. And that gives us a special bonus. A curious bonus. The woodcarver is gone. We'll see how that works shortly. But in, in, in the meantime, we do have to do an elite encounter. You've got one of those as well. So it means that certain certain ones of their cards are going to get a special movement thing when they when they finish the turn. But so do we. I think anything that anything that's of that tribe, any creature that we play that's of that tribe, will get the flight or something. <laughs> yeah, it will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. Yeah, airborne. So we, some of our creatures will now be airborne. The stoat, in fact. Oh, and the squirrel and the stoat are all going to be weird. Okay, whatever. Anyway. So, unfortunately, this is going to be difficult. Raven Egg Kingfisher, so it's going to be very Burgula, this one. Um, we could do with attacking them immediately. But let's make it so that... Hmm. Someone could be... Could, someone could do with being stinky, couldn't they? But let's place you there. And you there. And we've still got Stoughton. We've got the Bloody Rabbit Pelt, which is going to be no good to anyone. It'll just be mildly defensive. Um... I think I'm just going to use that. Sod it. It's not great, but... Sod it. So I'll do a little bit of damage, and they come in. Oh, they're going to move, aren't they? Ooh. And they're also going to disappear for the next turn, so I can't attack the Kingfisher, but we can attack over their heads. Which is kind of handy. So the Squirrel is going to be airborne. It doesn't really matter, because it doesn't matter either way what we do here. Um, 
Right, let's place you there and immediately replace it with the stoat, who's a bit healthier, but it's still got a bit of a piss attack. All told, over the top of you and attack you. So the raven egg is going to hatch into a raven. Ow, ow, ow. Hmm. Right. Squirrel. Uh, we've got no more cards to play. Raven's getting got a little bit. Unfortunately, yes, the raven... The, the kingfishers are attacking me directly, which is a pain. And they're moving all over the place. Um... A coyote, eh? I haven't got quite enough bones for that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to steal your raven. <laughs> that'll learn you. Right. That'll attack for two, that'll attack for three. Um, and the squirrel will attack over the top of the head, so that's all good. We don't need to do anything else. Attack, attack. That puts things a bit in my favour. We're getting more otters, and the kingfishers are still attacking me. This time, the, uh, the kingfisher and the raven will be having a bit of a fight, I think. Um... Right, okay, let's pick one of you. Oh, you took the film roll. Is that correct? My plan nears its moment of truth, but you must defeat him first. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think that's going to be possible. Uh, so far in this game, I've managed to get to the third boss. And we're in the second region at the moment, but the third boss was very tough. Well, so, to be fair, the second boss was very tough as well. But let's replace you with you. Uh, that should hopefully get towards us winning. That rabbit pelt is so in the way. But tonk, 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 tonk. That's serious tonkage. And almost gets us to the end, but not quite. Kingfishers are going to go over the top of our head. But we should have got it this turn. If nothing else. So that sh we should be okay. So I'm, I'll draw that, but I don't think there's much point in doing anything. Yes, we should, we should win on this turn. That's immediately going to attack the back and... Kill you, get some excess damage, turn you off, and bingo. Right, see what this is. Oh, your pelts clean. Ah, oh, this is the one who, this is where we they buy the pelts. Okay, good stuff. So we had a rabbit pelt. Um, thankfully the rabbit pelt didn't die, so we didn't lose that card. Um, we can get, oh, look at the grizzly. Oh, the alpha, oh, the alpha. A beehive is a good tactical one, because every time they tonk the beehive, you get a free bee, which is free to play, which is very handy. And the, sk the skunk and the skink. You know, the skink has a weird tail thing, which I've never understood, so I don't bother with that one. We're not getting many bones, so I'm not going to go bother going for the bat. The grizzly is quite expensive, but as a hell of an attack. We've got, we've got quite a few expensive things, haven't we? Um, I'm going to have the... Uh, mm, uh, grizzly, fuck it. <laughs> Oh, also the Golden Pelt, yes. So this is going to be an incredibly strong card. Oh, it's another Yura Yuli. Don't, do, don't want another one of those. Pack Rat's fun. Uh, it get, gives you a free item after a, um, when, a, when you actually play the card, which might be actually very handy. Mantis card. Attacks in three directions. Amoeba Mystery Sigil, that one. Um, I'll go for the Mantis card. That should be interesting. Right, onwards to um, upgrade a card. Let's see. This is going to be another plus one to, right, to my attack. I'm going to go for the Mantis card, because that sh should be fun. Yes, two attack. Hopefully, all, in all three directions, if that's what I think it means. I didn't bother checking, did I? Right, onwards to the next fight. Flying squirrel. Excellent stuff. And we're facing more birds, or flying things anyway. We still have got no equipment. It's been terrifying. And we've got the Mantis card. Excellent. Which costs one blood. Let's place you there. You there. Let's see what happens with this. The stoat. Not really much we can do. Attacks three times over. Well. <laughs> the Mantis God is good. Because I upgraded it to two. That means we attacked for six. First go. Well. Oh, the bloody ringworm. What's that? What was that? I didn't want the ringworm. <laughs> um, let's, let's upgrade another card. Uh, there we have not food. Um, oh yes, there's another plus one power. It's not always plus one power. Sometimes it's like plus two health or whatever. Let's, Mantis God, let's make that one even better. 
This is insane. Unfortunately, now we have a very hard fight indeed. This is the um, this is the Fisher lad. Again, we're not allowed to have two lives for this encounter. Um, your foot made contact with the metal bucket. It is the angler. You are the fish. Right, so he has a few weird attacks, and again, it's a two-stage fight. Um, me again. <laughs> oh, the stunted wolf and all. Right, so he starts with the kingfisher, so it seems fairly straightforward, but he'll try and steal our cards using the hook. We saw that I used the hook earlier, but he's now he's actually got the power to use the hook all the time. Right, the smoke is good, because again, that will give us bones, but... Um, that's the kingfisher will jump straight over that, so I don't think we want to do that. I think the stunted wolf, let's go... F let's squirrel up and put the stunted wolf there. Use me wisely. And anything else we should be doing? I'll play this... I'll wait to play this smoke. Let's see what happens. We're going to get attacked here, but we're also going to attack back, so who cares? Let's press the bell. Attack for two, and they'll attack me for one. You kingfisher. And this is another one where, um, when it comes to the stage two, I don't really want to have that many cards in play, because the more cards you have in play, the worse it is for you. Unfortunately, they, they all seem to be kind of um, airborne. Hmm. So unfortunately, it's not going to be very good to get attacked. Unfortunately, he's also going to try and steal my stunted wolf. Um, so to to, be, um, to get around that, I'm going to play a squirrel when I get a chance. Um, stoat. We'll get him the smoke. Hmm. Probably the kingfish is a bit of a prick here. Um, let's place that there. So now he's going to, instead of trying to steal the stunted wolf, he's going to play the squirrel instead. Um, if I, unfortunately now if I try to replace the squirrel, I have a feeling he'll kill that instead. Okay, nothing. Let's not do anything. Right, so he's got a few more now, so that's hurt me a little bit. We've still got the stunted wolf. I always use the hook to get... Okay, he's, he's stolen my stuff, just like the way that we did to hit him an enemy early on. Um, again, we'll get no, a squirrel. The stunted wolf will keep attacking, but unfortunately we've now got quite a few things in play. He's not doing a hook on this thing. What have we got in there? We've got a regular wolf. Um, what I could do is probably less ideal is replace the stunted wolf with a better wolf, but I fear that might be a bit dangerous. The stoat is quite defensive. Here's what we'll do. Um, the squirrel might get, like, stuck now. Um, but get... Mm, It'll st basically stop the kingfisher from emerging, so what I might do is... Well, the squirrel, got, the squirrel has flight, interestingly. Hmm. But you can defend against the kingfisher. Okay, fine. Right, squirrel play there. Doesn't really matter where, but let's now sacrifice it and place it there. That's sh bad play. Stop saying it's a bad play, you prick. Um, still don't really need to use the smoke, but... Stunted wolf and stoat. Right, okay, they're getting closer. Ow! Right. So we should be able to kill him in this go. Using... Stuff. Um, but I say I don't really want to place too much on the board, because that will um, be, be to our detriment. Oh yeah, here we go. So we only need to attack for two, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do nothing. Um, I'm just going to attack and it will win. There we go. And now, you'll see why. Go fish. See, so yeah, the cards that I had on the board, he's now put some evil cards in front of. Uh, the, reason why is, the, re the reason why they're so evil is because when you destroy them, um, they turn into really big enemies, so it's best not to. We've only got two bones. We were kind of like, the stoat, unfortunately, they're both going to get attacked, because... Unless we sacrifice them, of course. Um, sacrifice, sacrifice, wolf. Good. And now we can put the coyote there. Do they attack? No, they don't. So I'm going to just play that squirrel, why not? And leave that there. And press the bell. Get, get away. There we go. Attack, attack. Meaty, meaty attack. And we've defeated him. We did not even see why that bait thing was so evil. But trust me, it gets replaced by a really high attack enemy. So that's why you don't want to attack them. Reignite. Oh, yep. Two lives. Back again. So, yeah, we defeated the angler again. I say again. I mean, I did this from a previous run, so that's why I say again. And we get another rare card. A another mantis god. Ooh, I'm going to get another one of them. I like them. 
Didn't come into play in that particular go. Right, onwards. A moment. Right, so we're in the snowy biome now. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to a bone-shaking bone -shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead of the snow increasingly obscured it. You had climbed to the snow line. Right, so again, I think this is... Oh, we, we haven't actually done this one, I don't think, in this video. So this is going to be a trial. Let me just uncover the cards and explain. So what we need to do is we're going to draw three cards at random from our pack, and we have to either make it so that they, um, the, the symbols on the cards add up to four blood or four attack, or three sigils, depending which one we choose. That one is a bit of a risk, I think. So I'm trying to think of what sort of cards we actually do have. Um, do we... Have we got good attack? Mm, we have got a few really big attacks. But what for blood? So, um, th there's, that's the cost of the card. Uh, I don't know which one of these to choose. I'll choose attack, and hopefully we'll get three attacky cards. Yes! First... Okay. Oh my god. Um, yes, that one is absolute... Monstrous. That's exactly what I wanted to come out there, because that's got an attack of seven. <laughs> Still don't know what that card is. And we get... What the hell is this ringworm all about? It's piss. Um, corpse maggots. Um, if a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card buried this sigil in your hand is automatically placed in its place. Okay. An adder. Now oh, this is all kinds of weird. But it also moves. Um, I'll go for you. It's not a great choice there. Campfire or equipment? Or is this the pelt trader? No, oh, it is equipment. Oh, I haven't actually had that before. Um, I don't know what that does, but it looks like it's going to be very defensive and then probably hatch out into something. I'm going to get a. Ooh! That cuts up one of his cards. I'm going to take that. Although the black goat would have been handy, to, um, to be honest, to actually. Um, th uh, that tips the scales in your favour by one. That puts things up in the air for a while. I'm going to get the frozen possum. We've got third choice. We really didn't have much equipment. Okay, scissors for days. Now a new encounter. Flying squirrels. Um. Oh, okay, so it seems like it's a... Oh, it's, we, we drew the mystery card and it seems to be a grizzly? Okay, possibly a random thing when you draw it, I don't know. Oh, we've got a mantis god. And it's not, it's not the good one, sadly. But... Although I'd probably be able to win first go again. But let's place that there, and Mantis Guard there. And um, nothing else we can do. So let's ding the bell. Immediately attack for three. Raven Egg and Alpha. Oh god, that means the Raven... Oh no! Ooh. Ooh. Wasn't the end of the world. But unfortunately we've got really bad, awkward cards now, because they're all really expensive and we haven't got anything. Um, scissors. Cut up the Alpha. There. That'll, <laughs> that'll learn you. What's that card over there? A oh, wolf cub, okay. Um, I'm going to get the frozen opossum out. Replace you there. And squirrel there. And not really much else I really want to do. Oh, it's, oh, they've hatched into nasties. Ooh, that's going to be that's going to be painful. Ooh, very painful. Ugh. We might be able to get a grizzly out of this though. Which will Mm. We haven't got anything. We haven't got quite got enough cards to. I mean, the ravens are going to jump over our heads no matter what we do. Um, I think they're frozen a possum. Can I defeat? You know what? If we're going to survive this encounter, I'm going to have to do this. Um, I'm going to chop your block off. Give it to you. And the grizzly. Oh, the frozen opossum isn't. Oh, oh, oh. Ugh. We can't go. These are too expensive. I've already got two squirrels, and the raven's going to fly over the head, so this is going to be a lost encounter. I can't see any way of doing this. Nope. We're doomed. We've got, we've got no attacks on the go at the moment at all. So we've lost a life, but we do get to skip the rest of the encounter, though. That was bad. There's more equipment to the right, though. Right, so let's see. This isn't necessarily a good thing. Uh, we've probably got enough to get a decent wolf pelt. But that's going to go into our hands, whatever. Whatever, mate. Right, upgrade or equipment. Again, let's go for equipment. Oh, squirrel. Take that. 
Um, another scroll, always useful. Oh, and some bones. Yes, I'll get the bones. Bonus bones. We haven't even got to the bloody boss, so... We're doing well, though. We are doing well. It's going to be a long old video, isn't it? Um, right, okay. So what have we got? Mole and... Oh, the turkey vulture's quite tough. We kind of like, want to take that out. It's also a flying one, so it can fly over our heads. And we haven't... Um, we haven't got anything... I don't think that can necessarily... Oh, if we play the wolf, that might at least mitigate some stuff. So let's get the... Let's get a squirrel there. And there. It doesn't really matter where we place these, to be honest, but... And then place the wolf there. Anything else we can do? No. But at least we'll also attack for three in this go. We'll we'll weaken the the next that turkey vulture as well down to two. Ouch. But never mind. So we're we doing okay. Let's get a squirrel out, and we'll play the the skunk is. Oh, we still got it's got an attack of one because it's better than it could have been. Um. Let's place. Oh no, we actually have to place the U first, and then there. Ding the bell. Attack. Attack the vulture. Attack them all. Oh, there's an alpha in play. Hmm. We still got this bloody and rabbit pelt. Um, we could try and risk it from our general general deck, and then maybe hopefully get something that costs three bones or less. Or we go for a squirrel. There's a squirrel there, so I'm gonna risk this one. Oh, it's a wolf. Oh, it's a fucking wolf pelt. Um, in which case. I'm going to play these. I'm going to play that one there as just a sort of like a security measure. The skunk is attacking for one, which is something at least. Oh, we got that. Oh, <laughs> um, hmm. Not much we can do. There. At least the the wolf is. Are we going to? The wolf is going to attack for three, and that'll take us up to almost victory. Um, but unfortunately, this bloody mole is still in the way, and we've. The snowy fur is just the snowy fur. I could have used that. No, I couldn't. Oh, we only could attack for one. Oh. Oh. Right. Well, we're not doing brilliantly, but we're doing we're doing something. This uh, sparrow sparrow is going to attack. We need to take out that alpha ideally, but not quite sure what we can do here. Oh, the mantis god. Uh, let's sacrifice something. Is this the good one? It is. Right, mantis god. Um, anything? Nope. Let's not put that there. Kill, kill, kill. I included the snowy fur. Almost won, but not quite. The mantis god is going to win us this in this next go, I think. So let's just ting the bell and attack, attack, attack. Bye, bye, snowy fur. Lots of extra damage there, and onwards. Right. Boop, boop. Oh, vulture. Eight bones. Oh, that's very expensive. Oh, it's Bung Pipe. Hello, Bung Pipe. Um, okay, so you, is, you're actually quite a good card because you, yes, you're a very good card. Three attack, two health, and it costs one. Plus, after one turn, it'll turn into something even better. And that's a legacy card from a previous run. And we also probably need some more equipment. Oh, I don't think we actually are going to get to the boss in this. this the, the next encounter is a regular one. And that, that allows you to um, skip a go and stop the opposition playing, so... Um, I'll get you, because you're handy. We are tapped out with equipment. Yes, the um, the final boss is after this after this encounter. Squirrel, flying squirrel. Oh, we got the bung pipe out. Excellent stuff. And we've also got the, the really, really good mantis guard. Excellent. Um, the boulder is in the way, admittedly. Right. No mind about that. Squirrel goes there. Mantis guard goes there. Bung pipe might not even come out at all. Uh, which is a shame. Um, unless we squirrel. Let's... Is this just going to destroy everything? Um, yeah, I think we may win in one go. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's a powerful card, that. It's a, it's, a, it's actually a menace, isn't it? Let's go there. Absolute carnage with that card. Right, so now we can sell these pelts that we got earlier. Here, hair. Here. Rattler for six bones. Work around. We're not really doing a, an ant um, build in this in this in, in this go, so I'm not going to worry about that. The strength in numbers with ants. Oh, prawn. Mm, not great. And there's just a regular mantis. Um, I'm going to go for about four bones. 
Oh, a wolf pelt as well. Okay, so another card. Oh, and the bloody ant. Uh, turkey vulture. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay, eight bones there. That's a bit, maybe, maybe a bit too rich for my blood. We've all got these bonus sigils on. The rat king, when destroyed, will give us four bones back. But it'll also give us bonus um, and random items. I'm gonna go for that. That might be fun. Thank you, pal. Now time to upgrade one card, and then we'll lose to the boss. Can't wear. And yet another plus one attack from the campfire. Pick something else. Okay, so the stoat does not want to be upgraded. We could, we could get bung pipe sorted. <laughs> Let's get the other mantis god sorted. Yes! Nice. Right. He knows he's lost. So I haven't managed to get past stage one of this boss fight. Last time I just absolutely died immediately. And it is the Trapper! Uh, once, the once friendly man has um, now beheld you with a steely gaze. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. Cackle, cackle, cackle. So he's got um, these traps. Oh, great white! Okay, that is just literally a random card. It doesn't even have to be one that is in that I, I know about. I think, by the looks of it, it can be any in the game. And we have got the Mantis Guard card out. Um, well... We know how to play that, don't we? Right, go. Unfortunately, it attacks to get that. It doesn't attack. Oh, yeah. Ah, and and he's, he's already dead, so it's a bit of a one-go a one go thing, you. Unfortunately, now we've got all these traps, which unfortunately, if you attack them, they you will attack them, you'll, you'll kill them, but you'll also die yourself. Um. So I do need to get you. I might bust out my squirrel as well. Strange frog. Hmm. Great white would be nice to have, but not really much I can do. Oh, we've got bones there! We've got... I, I didn't even notice that. Um, we've got no cards that need bones, but I, I need to remember that. Right, okay, so we need to actually play something, don't we? We haven't got much, much we can actually do here. I'm wondering whether we should... I mean, they don't attack those leaping traps. The strange frog will, though, for one. So that's not going to be awful. Uh, maybe I should just play a squirrel. Um, that's not going to do much, though, is it? Mm. Unfortunately, now I can't really do anything about it. Um, it's... It's got the defense, but I mean, I've got zero attack on that, so that's a bit pointless. Um, I'm not sure what I can do here. Just let him get sacrificed, I think. Um, try and get something else out. Oh, a skunk! A nice defensive thing. Okay. Um, let's place that. So he's got an attack of zero now. Ha! Oh, there's a wolf. Unfortunately, hmm. Unfortunately, everything. A grizzly. Oh god, everything's too expensive now. Um. Get rid of you. Oh, the traps. It's just absolutely covered in traps now. Hmm. Well, nothing can happen for a while, I don't think, because it's just a line of traps. So I think. Unless they've got, they've got something flying. Uh oh. The skunk can attack. Ugh. Oops. And that's attack for three. Oh, that's reset us nastily. Oh dear. I uh, haven't really played this very well. We have, just haven't got any. I mean, everything's too expensive for us to do anything with. Which is less than good. The wolf pelt is a bit pierced. At least that can. Um, we'll play that there. We can stop him having a turn using that, but at the moment there's n not really much use to that. No, we're not attacking, they're not attacking. So what happens if I just don't do anything? Oh, that goes. <laughs> I forgot that I can attack as well. Ugh. But at least we get another squirrel on the go. Two squirrels on the go, which will allow us to play our, our own grizzly. Which is better, actually. Oh, definitely the grizzly. Oh yeah, we need to attack them, yep, and then place that there. Right. And then let's not do anything. Oh, the f okay, that's on the next turn we should do some good. Okay. Let's pick a squirrel. And not play anything, let's just go. Oh no, which attack for fours, that's not quite going to make it, but... Eh. I'm sure I'll be fine. Attack for four. And the adder gets placed there. A little bit. Oh god, it's an, it's an adder, which means it can it can kill me in one because of its death touch. Ah, well, fine. Ignore that. 
But we still haven't got good stuff here. So what I'm going to do... Play the squirrel. Play the squirrel. Use that. I'll pass my next turn. Which means... We can now draw another squirrel. Oh! It doesn't let you draw another card. Oh, bloody hell! Did not know that. Shit. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yep. For some reason he passed. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, not going to complain. Right, there. Right, now let's see what happens. Attack you. Has he even have cards? I think he has. Attack. Snuffed him out. So what's what's the what's the um what's the uh, the twist here? The cycle must continue. Oh god. Let's trade. Oh, we stole it on my stuff. Okay. I think this might be an impossible one. <laughs> Frankly. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Oh, maybe not then. Um, because in a previous run, I did so well and got to the Anglo, and then he just defeated me with an impossible move. And I think it was it's, it reckoned I was too early. Like, I'd done too well too quickly. So I thought that's what might have happened here, but... I don't know what I'm doing here. You trade for what you can. Um... Grizzly. Is that it? Ooh. <laughs> Not quite sure that was good. So the Great White is still in play, but otherwise we are a bit buggered here, I think. Um, so I haven't got anything that requires bones. The Bloodhound. I think I'll place the Squirrel there just as a sort of defence. Um... And that wolf is... The, uh, we probably have to place that there. This is just defensive. We've got nothing... I don't think we're going to win this. This is all super defensive. Oh, we've got... Attack to the Great Wide. Ow! Oh, my god, that's actually mullered me. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Not quite sure how I could have done that. You will make an exquisite pelt. Ah! And that, alas, is almost the end of the run. We lied half dead on the floor, but... We get to create a new card for the future. And this is the legacy card. Um, choose a card to draw the cost from. We want something that costs as little as possible. The Mantis card only costs one, doesn't it? Oh, that was a good card. Cost of one blood from the Mantis card. Um, a new. So we'll take something with high power and health. Unfortunately, we've been given crappy cards to do this with. 2-1, um, 1-1 one, 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 and 2-1. Oh, that's really bad. Hmm. So we're not going to get a good legacy card here. A sigil. Flight, bones, or flight. Let's go for bones. Oh, we get two sigils out of it. Uh, because of the bonus sigil. Okay, so we get the free item one as well. Okay, that's not too bad then. It's a peculiar card, this. Odd, it is. So this card will actually appear in future runs. Um, so, two attack, one health. You get, and, and when, when you get destroyed... Oh no, when, when we play it, we'll get a free item. And when we get destroyed, we'll get four bones. And it only costs one, so... I mean, bad. It's just weird, though. So if we defeated him, we would have had the role of film, and stuff might have happened. I don't know what... I don't know how this game progresses from here, because you see, this is after quite a few runs. And I don't know what else goes on, but this is... Every run introduces new weird shit. It's just incredibly weird. What would you expect from the maker of Pony Island, I guess? Trapped, and then traded. And you prepared for a fate such as that? Hello. What are you looking at? Keep your eyes on me. That foul, stunted wolf. You really want such a creature in your deck. The sight of it does try my temper. But it has been dealt. So it stands. And then, a new run. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's um, It's a most intriguing game. It's got surprising depths and a lot of weird shit going on in this, which I approve of a lot. And things do change. Things do need to be investigated. I still don't know what's going on with you. And that soothed my pain. An old rival of mine, that fisherman. He bested me this time, but I, I will have another chance. So there's still there's plenty to investigate here. But yeah, for now, this has been a very long video unless I split it up. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Do subscribe to Randomize User to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest and best new indie games out there. Check me out on Buy Me A Coffee if you want to support the channel. Keep us going. Uh, bye for now.